my channel. As you can tell by today's title, I have a first impressions for you guys. And this is on the January BoxyCharm, which is the Rock 2018 box. I have a whole bunch of products in here that I am going to be trying out for the first time with you guys today, letting you guys know my opinions on them, if I think they're worth the price, what the formula is like, all of that good stuff. So if you guys would like to see what I think about this month's BoxyCharm and these products, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start out this look with my eyebrows using the IT Cosmetics Brow Power Universal Eyebrow Pencil, and this claims that it is a universal transforming shade that adjusts to all hair colors based on pressure. We'll see how that goes. I got this in the shade Universal Taupe. It comes with a flat oval side as well as a little spoolie on the other side. It glides on pretty easily, but I'm just using the sharp edge here to really draw these straight lines, and I like how it's going on. Okay, my other eyebrow is on now, and honestly, that sharp edge died down pretty quickly on this pencil, so it was a little bit harder to get a straight edge on the top and bottom of my brow, especially going out on that wing. It wasn't very precise. This retails for $24, so personally, I would not buy this again. I would much prefer for this price to go for the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit or the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Moving on to my eyeshadow next, we did receive a full eyeshadow palette in this month's BoxyCharm, and this is the Crown Pro Glam Metals. This retails for $25, and it says that these highly pigmented, ultra-blendable shadows make smoky eye looks a breeze. This is the palette. They are all shimmery shades, with the exception of the black matte down here. They're all kind of more intense, dark colors, and to me, they all have a kind of muddy brown undertone to them, which I'm not really too much of a fan of when it comes to shimmers, but we can definitely, as it says, create a nice, dark, intense look with these. Also, because we are using the lipstick that we got in this box, which is a nice deep berry shade, I'm gonna try to coordinate with that. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette to pull this all together. It has a lot of those berry shades in it, so I think that this will be good to kind of pull it all together. So what I'm seeing right now is that these do blend out pretty nicely. It takes a while to build it up, but the good news is that it is buildable and there is a nice color payoff. They're not crazy metallic, which is nice. It's kind of more like a satin with a hint of shimmer. You really do have to dip in quite a bit though to get color out of this. I'm going to take a little bit of the Wicked now and put that on the outer V of my eye to deepen the look up. Again, I'm seeing kind of the same thing as I did with Wild Thing. It takes a little bit to build up and you really have to dig your brush in there to pick up any pigment, but they do blend out very nicely and once you do have that color built up, there's a nice payoff. Moving right along to my face. We're going to be starting off with the Dr. Brand Luminizer Primer. This retails for $38, and this primer is said to deliver a natural radiant glow while blurring pores and imperfections for a beautifully illuminated, flawless complexion. I usually don't go for illuminating primers because I do have oily skin. This one seems a little bit lighter than other ones that I've tried. It kind of has a moisturizer consistency. Personally, I feel like this is making my pores look a lot bigger than they normally do. So first impressions, I'm not that thrilled with it. I feel like there are definitely a lot better things out there as far as pore filling. But let's see how my foundation goes on over it. As always, for an everyday look, I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I use this CC cream with a lot of different primers and it always seems to perform the same. So we will see how it goes with this one. Right away, I can tell you I'm not too crazy about this. It does add a nice glow underneath your foundation, but my skin right now looks so rough and porous. I don't know if the camera's really picking it up, but this mirror right in front of me, I am not happy with how my skin looks. So this is a little bit disturbing to me. I probably won't be reaching for that that much, it's just not for me. Continuing on, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer under my eyes and in my T-zone. Hopefully that will help out covering up some of this unevenness in my skin texture. Adding that concealer definitely did help. I can tell you that I definitely won't be repurchasing this for $38. So I think that if you don't really have problems with the texture of your skin and are more so just looking for something to really hydrate and give you a little bit of a glow, this might be more for you. 
The next thing that we have here is the Pure Bronze and Brighten Cheek Palette. This retails for $34. This includes three skin perfecting powders to create an effortless and sun-kissed glow on every skin tone. Featuring Pure's favorite Afterglow and Mineral Glow along with a new blush shade, Blush and Glow. This blush, I don't really know about. That is a high glow for a blush and that is very very pigmented. Wow these are really really intense and really shimmery. So I'm gonna start off with the bronzer. I'm gonna use a fluffier brush for this and I'm gonna try to go in very very light with this. So my first thoughts are wow pigmented. My second thoughts are you do have to work a little bit to get this blended out nicely. It does kind of like to stick but I do really like the glow that this is giving me. I think that it's a nice sun-kissed look. It is very shimmery, so probably not something I would use on an everyday basis. I'm also going to go ahead and use this blush. I'm going to be using my Everyday Angled Blush Brush. This is a beautiful shade, and I really like this with my skin tone. But all together, I think this is starting to be a little bit too much, especially the shimmery blush, the shimmery bronzer, the shimmery eyeshadow. I'm going to go into the highlight now and see how intense that is. This does have a little bit more of a glittery finish to it as opposed to a shine like the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. Again, like I said with the blush, it's all a little intense together, but I think that separately this will be really nice. Just for me, I don't think that I would be taking this along as my only trio for a bronzer, highlighter, and blush. It's definitely a little bit much all together, but I think that I'm gonna be reaching for these things separately, especially if I have a more matte look going on. I just finished off my eyes with some mascara, and now I'm gonna move on to my lips. In my box, I received the Girlactic Matte Lip Paint, and this is in the shade Demure. The info card here says, One of the original liquid lipstick formulas that is still true to its word. It's lightweight, long-wearing, non-cracking, and won't settle. For a better application, do not apply a lip balm or lip primer before application. Right away, it is scented. It kind of smells like hot chocolate. It's also very lightweight, a little bit more liquidy than other liquid lipsticks. I did the entire application with one dip. It is really, really lightweight and I don't really feel it on my lips, which I really appreciate in a liquid lipstick. Overall, for $23, I really like this liquid lipstick. It feels really nice on the lips. It's not balling up. It covered that inside waterline really, really well. This is definitely something that I would purchase again. And that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed that first impressions on my January 2018 boxy charm. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you guys like content like this and hit that big red subscribe button right down below if you haven't done so already to be notified when I post new videos every Wednesday. Full details of this look will be linked down below in the description box, so make sure to check that out if you want to know what I have on my face. And until next time, bye guys!